In this Bar Bend Beginner Push-Up Program video, we're gonna go over two key factors. Number one, we're gonna cover some of the guidelines to keep in mind to effectively run this program for the most benefit possible. And two, we're gonna go over some of the movements you're gonna perform throughout this program and discuss how to perform them correctly. Three main guidelines to keep in mind for this program. Number one, this program is meant to supplement your current training routine. It is not intended to be a full-on program. Each workout should take no longer than 15 to 20 minutes, and it's intended to be done again in supplement to what you're already doing. The second guideline to keep in mind is that the rest times for each exercise will vary slightly. As a general rule of thumb, use one to two minutes to start. However, if you notice that you need more rest to successfully complete the reps, then take a little bit more rest time. And if you are crunched on time, then obviously flip the script and take a little bit less rest time as long as you're completing successful reps. The final guideline for this program is to let your reps dictate your progressions. There are a couple different progressions for the exercises in this program. So if at any point you're missing reps or sets due to the progression being a little bit too difficult, scale it back and then repeat that the following week. I highly recommend checking out the article down below in the description. That has the whole program written out, so that makes it a little bit easier for you as an athlete to screenshot the program so you have it when you go to the gym. Before diving into this program, try to do an AMRAP with your push-ups. So perform regular push-ups and try to get as many reps as possible. If you can't get any, there's no shame in that because after these four weeks, you're gonna be able to perform multiple reps in one set and that's gonna build up our motivation to push harder every week. The goal of this program is simple, to improve your overall push-up strength. That's why each day is broken down with a slightly different adaptation. On day one, we're gonna focus on building the accumulation of your pushing strength. So really focusing on getting in quality reps with a lot of different pushing variations to build your strength with that movement pattern. On day two, we're gonna focus on the triceps and your lockout strength. So when you're getting tired and you're pushing through the ground, you can really focus on driving through those triceps to lock out clean reps as you get stronger. On day three, we're focusing on the deltoids and the pecs, two of the primary movers in this exercise, and two of the most important to focus on and consider when building strength in the push-up. These muscles play a very important role in the eccentric loading pattern and the concentric loading pattern. So strengthening those is key for success with this program. To perform the assisted push-up, you're either going to place a single knee or two knees on the ground. Two knees on the ground is a more beginner-friendly variation as it limits some of the load that your body will have. The single knee is a progression above that. To perform these, you're going to perform them similar to any other push-up, keeping those hips nice and in line with the upper body, and you're going to press directly down to the ground. For the close grip and wide grip push-up variations, you're not gonna do an extravagant change of hand positioning. For the close grip variation, bring your hands under the shoulders, and then for the wide grip variation, simply bring your hands one hand width wider than what you normally perform the push-ups with. These should not stress the shoulder joint at all or put you in compromising positions. If you have to use assistance with doing these, do that as well. So place two knees or a single knee on the ground. Choose whichever progression is best for you. To perform the body weight skull crusher on the ground, bring the hips high. Think about putting the body into a pike position. Place the hands under the shoulder so you look like a V and then lower your head to the ground, thinking about engaging the triceps as you do so. Now you can perform these on, let's say, a couch or a staircase if you want to elevate your surface a little bit. It makes it a little bit more comfortable if you're not comfortable in the pike position. So scale this based on your needs. To perform the up and down plank, you're going to simply get into an extended plank position. Bring one hand to the ground, placing the forearm firmly on the ground with the elbow joint under the shoulder. Then you're gonna repeat that process on the other side. So you're back into that extended plank position in which you started with. For the dead stop push-up variation, you're gonna simply lower yourself for three seconds, pause for a second when your elbows are roughly 90 degrees, and then lower yourself two seconds to the ground. Most people aren't gonna be able to push back up. So if that is you, then get up however you want. So place the knees down and then bring the hips back and get up or do whatever feels most comfortable for you. To perform YTWs, you're going to lay prone on the ground, bring those hands up above your head, similar as if you're making a touchdown position and then lift the upper body slightly off the ground. Think as though you're trying to 
just get those pecs up off the ground. When you hit that Y position, you're then gonna bring the arms down to the sides, making a T position. And then from that T, you're gonna bring your elbows down, creating a W with your arms. And that wraps up our quick explainer of the Bar Bend Beginner Push-Up Program. Check out that article down below. It will have the full program written out. You can easily screenshot that and take it with you to the gym. If you choose to run this program, please, please, please let us know how you do in the comments below. Let us know your likes, dislikes, and progress after running this for four weeks. We would love to hear from you.